Hey guys, welcome back. This is Joe's Market Ticket. Today, we are going to be getting ourselves a transmutation table. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, today, yes, today is going to be the day we get into Project E. We get into EMC and actually utilizing some of the setup that we have done over the past few episodes. Yes, today is going to be a very, very nice day. As you can see, I went ahead and just blended my diamond chickens that I already had before. Um, I went ahead and 10, 10, 10 those. Th these are not as necess... Uh, necess if I can talk today. They're not as necessary as the emeralds. Um, but I did go ahead and get a few of the... Once, once you get a stack of 10, 10, 10 chickens, they breed so fast. You really just need seeds to get these going. And I have them all being fed into a compacting drawer. Uh, just know that there is a flat transfer node in here. And it should manage to keep up with that uh, that process. So I have them going into compacting drawers for right now. Later on, these will actually be all converted and we'll have access to generating EMC with these guys. But for right now, this is going to be our early EMC and uh, it should get us going. Like all of these blocks are several blocks now. Of course, we have tons of blocks of these, which also have a lot of EMC in them. This I technically should have being going, I should have this going into blocks as well. And so should the diamonds. As you can see, I just got done with these not too long ago. So with all that being said, that was a mouthful. Let's talk about this guy. So all remember that coal chicken that we set up a few episodes ago? Yeah, a long time ago. Well, it's being utilized now. I want to kind of demonstrate how to use this. So let me go ahead and just break this. Um, I had this working. Um, it's only been running for maybe 30 minutes or so. It's really fast with these speed upgrades that we got from our questing. Uh, but let's talk about this crafter tier three. It's being powered wirelessly via that, that node over there. It also has a flat transfer node on it pumping into this drawer. But let's go ahead and actually set this up. I'm going to go ahead and clear these. That way I can hand set them up and show you guys exactly how you want to go about doing this. Let's just go ahead and clear all this. Bam, all of them are cleared. So this is how you'll get it. It'll be like this. So what you want to do is have each fuel type ready to go. Uh, also clear this. This is this is what this will actually look like right here. What you want to do is you want to have a philosopher's stone. I'm going to put this in um, on to activate. I'm going to set a philosopher's stone in here, a piece of coal. I'm going to get each tier that we know is going to end up being crafted in here. And I'm going to go ahead and remember those. So now you see they actually stay in here. So that way at, at any point that coal might build up, we know that these will always have a spot for them to go to. So let's go ahead and get this set up. We're going to take the Philosopher's Stone in the first recipe slot. This one has eight recipes. We're going to put that there and we're going to go, okay, it's going to take that many coal to do this. And we're going to need to set this mode right here into insert and then hit apply. And that's our first step. Next step is going to be the exact same thing, except we're going to be using, of course, the upgraded version. And you can see it automatically went to sort that. You don't want that to do that. So we're going to set that one to insert. And then down here, this is going to be our last step. And you can see it already went to remember it. Don't want that. We're going to use this fuel. And this one's going to be a little bit different. We need to have this one. It'll be normally on external. We want this to be on external C. So that way, basically, this right here will act as a bucket. So that way, if there's a reusable item, it'll go back into the here while our, uh, while our craft will actually go out. So you want to make sure that's set. And then once you have that applied and you put your, your uh, philosopher stone in here, you can go ahead and throw your items in. This thing will begin. So let's set this to ignored mode. So it's always going, we set this into fast. If we want, doesn't really matter. This is not going to be fast enough to really worry about that uh, setting. We're going to hook this in and put in our speed upgrades. And this is actually quite fast. Um, I would have to say the extra utilities is going to be one of your faster methods of sending items. There are other methods. Um, translocators are something that you can use, but like, like I've said many times in the past, they're disabled on my server in particular. The main reason being that when there's a bunch of them, they can cause severe server lag. So um, that's one reason why we have those removed. But as you can see, this is producing it, and it's producing quite a lot. So this is also going to be another method of EMC. But we're also going to need to use this for crafting. So let's grab a few stacks of this. I mean, it's not like we don't have plenty. We have so much of it. And let's get this inside our 
crafting here. And we're also going to need some diamond blocks. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can have enough to make a stack. We do. Okay, so we're good. We're good for today. Let's get into Project D. What we're going to really get into today, which we've been working towards this for quite a while, is the energy condenser. This is going to be our first step into getting our tablet. And the reason I say that is because this is your first dabble into anything, anything EMC related. So, um, let's go ahead and get a chest. Surprised I don't actually have a chest. I thought we had plenty of chests in here. Maybe not. Maybe we've used them over the, the time. So let's get a dirt chest 9000. By the way, this is absolutely a hilarious item. When you place it, you get your dirt chest 9000 book, in which it says, Welcome to your new dirt chest 9000. I hope you will enjoy many years of storing your stacks of dirt in our, util our storage utility. Yeah. Simply insert a stack of dirt of your choice into the highly re receptive slot and enjoy the great convenience of having that dirt available to you at any time you pass by this chest. Hope you have enjoyed receiving the instruction manual and I hope you will consider using our products in the future. Kind regards, the Dirt Chest 9000 Manual <laughs> Writers Incorporated. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Warranty. This product has no warranty of any kind. Your dirt, dirt may be stored and slowly leach into the environment, or, alternatively, it may do nothing at all. The Dirt Chest 9000 is kind to the environment. Please dispose of this book, or this guidebook responsibly. Do not use, or do not, ugh, do not whatever you do, just chuck into some lava. We would be very sad. So, we'll just store it We'll store it in our kind little environment, environmentally friendly terminal, and there we go. Okay, so now that that's done, that's I just I love the dirt chest. So it's a, definitely a meme in itself. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a crystal chest, and we've already really done this and done this before. But I'm gonna go ahead and do two of them because we do need two of them, or at least we need a diamond chest, and you'll understand why here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and get get one crystal chest and one diamond chest. So here's our diamond chest. Remember, we need one crystal chest. So let's just make a crystal chest. And there we go. Oh, I guess we had one in our inventory. That's weird. Okay, so. Back to Project D. Let's go ahead and also make the alchemical chest. This guy is going to require diamond lettuce. Diamond Lattice, not lettuce, even though it looks like, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and make this. This is where we needed that diamond chest. And remember when we made all those covalence dust? It was in preparation for this and the dark steel. It was all in preparation for this alchemical chest. And you got a quest received for chest plus because this is actually a quite a large chest. Take a look at it. It's probably one of the bigger chests that you can get. Um, of course, the draconic chest is quite large, quite larger. Um, it actually fills up my entire screen. But, alright. Next, we need technically 16 dark matter in total. So, we're going to need 16 dark matter in total. And we should have plenty of that at this point. Then we also need to make red matter, which is more eternalist fuel. Which is this dark matter that we had. Remember, we need four of those so we can throw the rest in here. And there's four dark matter. And guys... We are ready to make ourselves an energy condenser. Yes. So, what I'm going to do, place the dark matter in. This is also going to require 4 million RF as well. Uh, so, what you can do is you actually just divide this in your inventory. And it will automatically pull out divided. Which I find actually really nice that it does that. And as you can see, this is why we needed a total of 10. Because this is going to require all 10 of these guys and man you know what let's go ahead and do this oh man and there goes all of our energy you can watch it like it's gonna require four million so it's gonna take a tad bit of time it shouldn't take too long um, simply because we're, we are using these guys and there are not they are set to false but this has its own limit of how much RF it can accept but boy, am I excited to get this block. Oh boy. Energy condenser. 
This block is fantastic. So there's a lovely place for it. Got our lovely energy condenser. And one thing we can do is make some dark, dark matter. We should be able to make some dark matter here. I'm going to make one dark matter because what I'm going to use is actually the fuel here to make it. So you can see, put a dark, put your item you want to duplicate in here, throw some fuel in for it, and it'll actually convert that EMC value into an EMC value that relies or relays on this. So as you can see, bam, if we throw all this fuel in here, it's just going to produce more and more dark matter, which is really, really nice. Um, so the only way for us to get another energy condenser is for us to, of course, craft another one. So, in order to do that, we pretty much need, I guess, I'll make some more diamond chests. That should be plenty. And what you can do is actually stop the process and throw the dark matter back in, and it'll just convert it back over again. You shouldn't really lose any. Of course, I'm just going to make a couple, so this rest of it can just go back into there. And yeah, we just need to repeat this process over again, and a way I can get more energy condensers. Because if we take a look at the transmutation table... Um, we're going to need some alchemical chests and we're going to need another energy condenser. I still want to keep the energy condenser I have, so we're going to need at least one more of them anyways. So this should do the trick. Also, we're going to need these antimatter relays, and these are actually not too difficult to make. Um, but we really need, what we really need to focus on right now, one is duplicating our eggs, but the other one is getting into the neutronium. And this is to... I mean, we should be able to get this table today. Believe me, we will we will get the table today. Night Slime's not hard to get, and we'll be able to do this. But we need to get the transmutation table, so we need neutronium first. And we can acceleration one that. So let's take a look at AV and um, um, Averidia. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, we're going to need a neutronium or neutron collector. Yeah, this is going to require an extreme crafting table. So the crystal matrixes. Remember, we need one, two, three, four of those. Store those in there. Let's go ahead and make this. And what we'll do is we'll just make these in here. Remember to keep at least one dark matter on you. We'll store that. See how many it takes to make these. There's just a few. But of course, we have more of the Eternalist fuel over here that we can use to fuel this. And there we go. We can also acceleration one this, by the way. If you also want to do that, there's another thing you can do. But yeah, let's go ahead and make this block. Extreme crafting table. It's going to require double compressed, which is just a bunch of wood, really. So we need a crafting table. I'm just going to convert that over real quick. And that should make a bunch of crafting tables. And that should be plenty for what we're going to be working with here soon. We just need a double compressed. So technically we only need a couple more of these. So that's plenty. Let's get that to stop. There we go. So, just a couple of these. Seven, nine. All right, that'll give us a compressed one. There's our double compressed. Surround this with the crystal matrix. And we get ourselves an extreme crafting table. Nice. The extreme crafting table is, is not as extreme as it sounds, but, I mean, it does have a large crafting grid. <laughs> but luckily, JEI comes to the rescue when it comes to that. All right, let's go ahead and throw these chests back in, or uh, crafting tables back in. I'll keep a stack, but we're going to throw the rest in there. We always seem to need crafting tables. Alright. So, with that being done, let's get some iron. I think that's going to be plenty, because let's take a look at the Avaricia. Take a look at this. We're going to need the Neutron Collector, right? It's going to require one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... More of those blocks and redstone, which is fine. We should have plenty. So I'm going to take a block of redstone. 
We're going to make some more of those. Um, let's grab some more fuel. So there's that. That should be plenty of redstone. Um, we need more of these crystal matrixes, though. And of course, we can even fuel this if we want to with some nether stars that we have. I mean, we just have so many things that can produce EMC for us. I mean, look at this. Bam, I think that's enough crystal matrixes. I think that's enough iron. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's get into this. Let's go ahead and make a neutron collector. Are we missing? Oh, we're missing blocks of quartz. I forgot about that. They're kind of hard to see. But, of course, we can always grab some quartz. All right, let's stop that. Because I want to do blocks in here. I don't want to have to craft all that. So that should be plenty. And last but not least, we should be able to craft that. And there's ourself a neutron collector. Perfect. The neutron collector is over time going to generate neutronium. So if we acceleration one this, we can start to see some piles of neutronium, which is really, really nice. Bam. Look at that. Look at that neutronium right there. So yeah, once we get nine of these, as you can see here, we can compress that down and that'll give us one neutronium nugget. Now, as you've seen before, we need a few neutronium nuggets. So this used to be EMC able when the pack first released, but now after the updates, the EMC value has been removed, unfortunately, meaning that if you really want to have a lot of these and you get them a little bit quicker, it's probably best that you have a couple of these neutronium collectors as they do take a little bit of time to produce one. And as you can see, eventually you're going to need nug or ingots of these. And yeah, it just, it just keeps getting harder and harder to get them. Um, cause it's just related on time. It's a time grind. This acceleration one definitely helps with that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and get all of them that we need. Shouldn't take too long as you can see, and I'll be back. So now that I have that neutronium that I need, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a little temp temporary smeltery. Um, and this, I am pretty sure I'm not going to need very long. So, um, what I'm going to do is actually place it back here in the wall and it's going to be a very, very small smeltery. No joke. Very small. And I literally mean that. So it's going to be like one of the smallest smelteries you can make. You really don't need a big smeltery to complete this project, but you do need these parts. So we need the drain. Of course we need the controller. We're also going to need a place to drain our stuff. And then we're also, we're going to just need to kind of fill and, and just build this up probably one more. And then we're good. We also need that a casting. And we also need not that we need a faucet to drain it out. Very simple. Um, so let's go ahead and get ourselves two pieces of gold and another piece of iron, and I'll show you exactly what we need to make that night slime. So I'm gonna use gold later. You know, if you were early on in this, um, probably uh, brass would probably be the best stuff to use. Um, the actual normal casting material. But for right now, I'm just gonna use this. So two of those will work and we just need to fill this tank with some lava and then we can acceleration wand this not hit it with an arrow hit it with an acceleration wand throw one piece of iron in here doesn't really matter it's going to delete the item consume it there we go and then we're going to get this recipe in so we need four stone so i'm going to do this you know at a time I'm going to get that cooked down. Two more stone. So technically you need four stone, one iron, and one purple slime ball. And that should make night slime. That is the ratio. That's the recipe. And you can see one ingot of molten night slime. And there we go. And we should be able to EMC this. Yep. It has an EMC value. So there you go. Look at that. <laughs> very, very simple. So let's go ahead and get a couple of those. That's already way more than we need. But I'll keep them in here anyways. Why not? All right. So that is another step out of the way. Let's take a look at this, though. 
The rest of this should be pretty easy. We need these catalysts right here. So we need these enderpearl catalysts, which, I mean, that's one of the easier parts of this table. Um, and it also makes two of them. We need four, so there we go. That part's done. Uh, you see we need these storage upgrades, so... I think we need... Oh, we just need one more storage upgrade. There we go. Drawer. I don't know why it's not recognizing that I have the drawers, but I don't know. But I do have them, so... Is it not going to recognize? There, there it is. So there's that. Like I said, they actually made this... Um, so Sunnycare made this so... It's a little bit easier to get your transmutation table early on, so that just kind of helps a little bit. And we also need dragon eggs. We only have two because we fought it twice. Let's go ahead and add this. And that's going to take a little bit more. So we might want to throw some nether stars in on that one. And there's our four. We can go ahead and stop that. Perfect. And the last step, which is probably going to be the harder step, is getting the alchemical chest here. Uh, we need a couple of those. That's plenty. And then, like I said, again, we need to make another energy condenser, which we already know how to do that. So that is actually not that big of a deal. Let's actually make ourselves a piece of red matter. I guess I'm going to need some dark matter for this. So this is where these uh, nether stars are actually really coming in handy. So that's going to make us quite a few. There we go. That'll make red matter. You can pop that in here. Make some red matter out of that. That is all we need for this. And all I got to do is make another dirt chest. So yeah, dirt chest. It's actually hard to see if you're not ready. Dirt chest and a crystal chest. Right. So let's go ahead and put this back together. You know, four of those, four of those. Okay, four of those, another dark matter, dirt chest, and crystal chest. I'm missing one thing. Oh, another dark. Must have placed it wrong. And we'll throw that in there. That should start. Awesome. I'll let that do its thing. Until then, I need to get the items ready for another part of this table. So while we're making another energy condenser, uh, we need to be working on this right here, antimatter relays and the energy collector. So this is just going to require us to tear up through this with a furnace. So we need six glowstone glass and a diamond block. And then for the other one, it's going to be obsidian. So I'll take a stack of obsidian glowstone. Um, diamond block. And glass. So these are just the few items that we're going to be needing. Not too difficult to get, as you can see. And then this will upgrade into this, just requiring some dark matter for both of them. Awesome. And then we need furnaces, right? So, a couple of furnaces. Regular Minecraft furnace. We get started. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab the energy condenser. There it goes. Perfect. So, we should be good there. And last but not least, let's just go ahead and get this sorted out. We are going to need six in total. Six of this. 
And we're gonna need a diamond and glass. Diamond block and glass. And we need a furnace. And there we go. And that should produce. That'll take no time at all. That requires like hardly any power. Once that's upgraded, then we can repeat that same process, almost identical. Except it's going to be six obsidian and one anti or seven obsidian and antimatter, right? Or dark matter, not antimatter. Oh, I threw that out, didn't I? And that should start up. That should be very quick. And there's exactly what we needed. <laughs> now, one thing that I do want to do with this is make sure I have that red matter out. I want to make a copy of that. And make sure one of those gets stored in here. And now it's exactly the same thing for the other one, but it's going to require glowstone. Well, we've hit that point of this pack where things are going to become a bit easier and a lot more fun. You guys have been asking me, when are you going to do Thomcraft? Well, I really wanted to wait until I got that transmutation table before I started Thomcraft because there's a very special thing you can do with that table that uh, kind of makes Thomcraft really, really easy and really, really nice to learn. And I've learned a little bit of Thomcraft, but um, I think there's more definitely for me to learn. So let's go ahead and get into making that transmutation table. So finally, all of these episodes have led up to this one point, and that is making this bad boy. And as you can see, we have all the items. This button is ready to go. This is what it looks like in here. Oh, man. Yeah, there's a lot to this. And let's go ahead and craft this bad boy. Oh, man, I don't want to push the button, but we're going to have to. Bam. Okay, well, we have it. <laughs> we have it now anyway, so what are you going to do about it? So, this is our transmutation table. Which means we can now store all of our precious items in here. And learn them. The problem is, we have no EMC. So, technically, as you can see, if I go to learn items in here store them and, and teach them, I can't use them because I have zero EMC. That's where these Emerald Chickens come in, and that's why I said this is going to be a nice early boost to our EMC production. I'm just going to take out all of this. I, wonder, I love how some of them emptied completely. I guess if they are, I guess if there's any extra, it stays in there. But yeah, we're going to take all of this. Well, this I have several stacks of. And we're going to dump this all into our transmutation table. <laughs> Bam. Like this. Look at all of that EMC. Same with Nether Stars. All of this Supremium Essence can be EMC'd. All these, all these different mob drops. Things like that. All of which can be EMC'd. And not only that, generate more EMC for us later on down the road. Look at that. So yeah, we already have quite a lot. That is 124 million. But in this pack, a, like billions of EMC is really where it's at. So yeah, we're going to we're gonna manage and we're going to do a lot of that very soon. So something I wanted to, to sort of look at is I have all of these legendary crates from just, I don't know, just from this stuff doing its thing. But apparently you can do a stack at a time. Everybody's been telling me this. You can hold shift and it'll open all of them at once, which is really nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, so this is like everything we got. But as you can see, like items just go all over the floor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw these in here. Anything that can be EMC'd, I want to be EMC'd. Which is nice. And I can go pick up all these items that just got thrown all over the floor. Um, but as you can see, yeah, we got an ultimate furnace from that, which is amazing. Resident upgrade kits, which is really good because, I mean, this will just help us produce more and more power um, later on down the road. But yeah, those are nice. Like, that's actually not bad. Let's see. Throw that in there. We just bump up our EMC value. Look at that. Six blocks of Terra Steel. 
14 growth accelerators. Man, we'll have growth accelerators for days with that. Um, but yeah, that, tr that table pretty much changes the way our gameplay is going to be. Completely changes everything. Um, I have to basically empty this out here. I'm going to be working on emptying out most of this stuff. So that way we can learn all of the uh, the items inside of our transmutation table. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. So I have managed to move all of uh, well everything that's EMCable out of here into here. Um, I mean, we have some of these things that we can also throw in here for right now. Because like I said, our base is going to be changing dramatically very soon now that we have access to an EMC table. That basically allows me to be as creative as I want to be in my builds um, and basically change and just change the entire base, really. Um, I can now be as creative as I want, which I absolutely love. It basically puts me near in creative mode. I'll have basically unlimited resources and I love that. So yeah, that's going to be really, really nice. Uh, by the way, all this draconic stuff is EMCable, which is really nice. So we got all these quests done. I want to go ahead now, take a look at this, smeltery, let's complete that. I want to go ahead and claim these rewards. Um, bam. I claimed all my empty rewards. They just dumped all over the place. I want to get as many things as I can that are EMCable in our table. Look at that, look at all those chance cubes. Exchanging gadget, ooh, nice. Herculean. Ooh, some more conversion kits. I love that. Did we get anything special? Ooh, a Nether Star Crux. That's nice. Phantom Faces is nice. I don't have to craft them. Cloches, tanks. I mean, we got some really good stuff here, but I mean, like I said, this still isn't the greatest things in the world. Um, we still kind of got <laughs> we still kind of got bummed out on that one. Um, because a lot of the stuff we already have, like a spawner changer, like really? We just got that. Chance cubes are EMCable. No way. That's kind of nice. I didn't know they were EMCable. Huh. I wish inner chests and stuff were EMCable, but you know, you get what you get. But anyways, that basically is is all of our stuff. Look at our drives are nice and cleaned out. Ah, fresh, fresh looking inventory here. Nothing in here but some stuff that can't be EMC basically and everything that's in our drawer system right now. I mean, all of that's working out just fine. I can kick this bad boy on. I had to turn it off so that way, um, basically my, my table here would stop changing because any item that would go in would start changing things. But yeah, I mean, I mean, we can throw all of this stuff in here. Like we have anything else that might need to be thrown in. I don't really know. Like, I, I've pretty much thrown everything in. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. We got a lot done. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen next. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching.